Permaculture is sustainable. It's about sustainability. Sustainable needs to be defined clearly. A sustainable system produces more energy than it consumes, enough in surplus to maintain and replace its components and the system itself over its lifetime. Therefore, if you're looking for a sustainable system as an example, living systems, natural systems, systems fueled by the energy of the sun, the source of all life energy on earth, the sun, is the most sustainable system. And there we can find models. There we can look for examples. There we can define true resources, living resources that are renewable, endlessly renewable, as long as the sun continues to shine. We don't have to worry about the renewability of, of our resources because the depletion of energy, the spent energy, the entropy, energy that's been contained that is spent, is actually enhanced by living systems when we design to trap the energy of the sun. We're very much about resources defined in a natural way. Yields, as in yields of a system so that we can plan very long-term yields and very fast yields from a system. We are designers of systems that mimic nature, systems that run on the same patterns as nature. And when you look at natural systems, they're extremely diverse. Diversity in nature links to stability. Stability creates fertility, and fertility gives us that design productivity. Diversity is not just a collection though. Diversity is about interaction, interactivity. The interaction between the diverse elements gives us that ecosystemic, that life web type stability. Our themes in design very much focus on those models so that our system, our teacher is the natural system. Stacking diversity into systems stores and creates an energy surplus for us in design. But we don't just stack in the physical sense, we actually look at stacking in time. Time stacking systems through succession. Looking at succession in natural systems, the reparative mechanisms, the mechanics of nature, if you like. Those systems can be replicated but they can actually be improved. And improving on nature is something that is fine. If we're actually in a positive mode and we're benefiting nature's reparative functions, we can stack in space and in time. And that's a really exciting concept. 